All right, I'm guessing you clicked on this video because you're trying to run Photoshop or Final Cut Pro on your MacBook or your iMac and you're getting this notification. This is one of the most annoying notifications and I'm gonna teach you how to fix it real quick. A scratch disk is a virtual memory space on your hard drive that is used to run these multiple tasks that these programs run. Usually when we run our regular programs, we use RAM and RAM is kind of like a desk space. And if we have a huge desk and a lot of RAM, we could run a lot of programs at the same time like Google Chrome, Adobe Photoshop, so on and so forth. But when we run out of RAM, scratch disks are used for programs like Photoshop. But something like Photoshop requires a lot of room because it uses a lot of temporary files, it uses a lot of things so that we can easily access past projects, current projects, and do quick tasks. So the first step that I'll obviously recommend is to clear those scratch disks. So open up your Photoshop, go to the taskbar on top, and click on edit. Go all the way down to purge and you'll see a couple categories that you could purge from in your scratch disks. If they're already grayed out, that means that that section of your scratch disk is already cleaned out. So I'm going to click on all and I'm going to click on OK because this cannot be undone. Make sure that all the previous versions of your projects are saved because once this is cleared out, you can't go back to those previous things. So I'm going to click on OK and now I just cleared up my scratch disks. The second thing that I'm going to teach you is to delete Photoshop's temporary files. This is one of the biggest culprits of this issue because Photoshop creates so many of these things to run tasks a little bit faster. But if Photoshop runs slow and if you're in the habit of force quitting Photoshop like me, it can't delete all those temporary files and it'll actually store up and clog up your hard drive without any indication of it doing so. So let's get down to it right here. I'm going to click on Finder. Let's go to the taskbar up top, click on Go and scroll all the way down to Go to Folder. I'm going to type in the destination slash TMP and we're going to enter that right now. And these are all the files that Photoshop created in the background I forgot to delete. So if Photoshop is already closed and quit on your computer, go ahead, highlight all of those, move to trash, and you are good to go. Make sure you delete your trash as well. The third tip that I have for you is to clear out the junk on your hard drive. And just like I said earlier, scratch disks are virtual space on your hard drive because the RAM that you have can't run the tasks like Photoshop and Final Cut Pro has to offer. So I trust that you know how to delete old and large files on your computer, but if you want to do it efficiently, I highly recommend using a program called Clean My Mac X. So I'm going to open up Clean My Mac X right now. I'm going to go over to the left side and go to System Junk in the Cleanup section. I'm going to run a quick scan right now for junk that I don't need on my system. Let's review the details and let's select all of these junk files that I don't even need that'll free up 34 gigs. Let's click clean. And just like that, Clean My Mac X freed up 33 gigs off of my hard drive, and now I have more space for those scratch disks. This program honestly makes everything so easy, such as this task alone. So I highly recommend downloading Clean My Mac X. There is a download link in the description below. You could start a free trial if you want, or you could buy the whole thing, but it makes everything easier. Trust me. The next step that I have for you is a very interesting one, and that's to actually change where your scratch disk is coming from. So originally, we're using our hard drive on our computer, but if you plug in an SSD, you can change the scratch disk to that destination instead. So let's open up Photoshop right here. Let's click on Photoshop up here go preferences and then scratch disks. Here I'm gonna see a couple destinations for a hard drive or for an SSD. And if you have an SSD plugged in, you can go ahead and select that to be your scratch disk. And now you have more virtual space to work with. So this next one is a super quick tip and that is to free up RAM on the terminal. So let's go ahead and open that up right now. Type in this super easy command called sudo purge. And now type in your password and you just cleared up RAM just like that. Easy, simple, and elegant. Even though it didn't give you a visual confirmation that it completely cleaned out your RAM, it did. But if you want, you could run the same exact task on Clean My Mac X. So let's go ahead and open that up right now. I'm gonna go to maintenance over here, click on free up RAM and run that task. The second to last tip that I have for you is to reset your Photoshop preferences. So let's go to preferences up here and go to general. And with this new menu, you're going to click on reset preferences on quit. Click OK to confirm. And now you have to reset the program. So go ahead and quit Photoshop right here. And it should be fixed just like that. But I'm going to test it right now by opening up Photoshop right now. And like you can see right here, none of my previous projects are available to click on. And that's because our preferences are reset, which means the scratch disk 
discs are emptied. The last tip that I have for you is to disable auto recovery, which is a function in Photoshop that saves you from losing all your progress if it accidentally crashes. But if you don't have that problem, then it just stores up all these temporary files. So let's go ahead and open up Photoshop, go to preferences and go to file handling. In the top section over here, go ahead and uncheck automatically save recovery information every whatever time interval going to uncheck that and click OK. Now all your progress won't be automatically saved. This could be a very risky move, but if you have a reliable machine, you have nothing to worry about. And this will also keep your scratch disks pretty clear. And that's all I have for you guys in today's video. Hopefully all these tips help you with this annoying problem that you may be running into with Photoshop or Final Cut Pro or Lightroom. So make sure you smash that like button, subscribe for more videos and comment down below on what you personally do to keep those scratch disks clear. And I will see you in the the next video. Peace.